stories of the apparitions of Our Lady, be it um, in Fatima in Portugal, um, Cabejo in Rwanda, Lourdes in France, or Guadalupe in Mexico. One thing that really strikes me from this is the reality of it all. We have our Blessed Mother, Mary, coming to earth and speaking to us. She has messages for us and she just is with us. It's, it's the point really where it, 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 it strikes me that it's not a question of why or what, it's more of, okay, this is true, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> Mary came and said this. And said this. And this is what I kind of hear from our gospel today as, as well. Our gospel today says, At once the Spirit drove him out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for forty days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. What I hear from this gospel is that Jesus isn't just God acting apart, having the appearance of being a man. He is God made man. He is tempted as a man, he lives as a man, he dies as a man, feeling all the limits and difficulties of his humanity the entire time. However, God became man. He lived our life, he had our problems, had our temptations, but he, the only innocent man, and allowed himself to be tortured and murdered on the charge of blasphemy, the only one who could truly say that he is God, all this so that he might forgive the sins of all who believe in him. And then he rose from, from, from the dead, giving us the promise of the fulfillment of all our desires in the kingdom of heaven, life with him. So this Lent, let's listen again to Jesus' word to us. Let's repent of our sins. Let's place all of our hope in his promise.